I am nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna spend a night alone in the woods tonight because I need to clear my head and get out of the city a little bit. Oh my god. I gotta bring a little weapon, you know? <sighs> Relax. I'm not nervous about being alone in the woods. I'm, I'm nervous about driving there. I'm renting a car for the first time in my life. I hate driving in the city. I have to pack. If you're new here, hey, I'm Chelsea. I am an anxious yet adventurous 30-something living alone in New York City who likes long walks on the beach and guys over six feet tall because I'm a tall girl. I'm five foot nine and with shoes, I'm 5'10 and I like want to be the little spoon, you know? Okay, we're getting off topic here. I still have like 40 minutes before I have to leave. I do not know why I'm panicking right now. Calm down. Basically, I'm in a transition phase right now, making new friends, discovering new hobbies, thinking about the future while reflecting on the past. It's been a learning experience for sure. So honestly, a night out in the open and fresh air sounds like the best thing I can possibly do for myself right now. Almost done with the uh, fourth wing. Everyone's reading these right now. I had to get on board. We're gonna drive up to Hopewell Junction, about an hour and a half north of Manhattan. I have never been there before, so let's, you know, hope this goes well. So I'm eating some noodles really quick, like some instant ramen. And then I think we're pretty much ready to go. I'm only going for one night. Would you believe I have all this stuff? This is all food. I think I'm pretty good. I just have a massive pit in my stomach, but it's gonna be fine. It's 2024 and we're choosing to do things that um, feel impossible, but really aren't and facing your fears and getting out of those mental roadblocks. You know, I'm, I'm pushing myself here. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm actually in my first rental car. It doesn't feel so bad now that I'm in here because I kind of like it's just, it's like riding a bike, you never forget. And I do drive. I got my license when I was 16. Let's get acquainted. This is crazy. We're good. Let's hit the road. stop and go traffic, <laughs> which is why I felt, okay, turning the camera on. I, I am freaking out because I cannot believe I'm actually driving and there was a split second there when I pulled this car out of the rental lot where I was thinking, maybe this is a bad idea. Let's just turn around. <laughs> we should not be doing this. We're doing it. We have to do things that scare us. I love the comfort of my home, but I really want to remember that side of me that really loved adventure. I want to tap into her again. That's what this year is all about. I'm really happy that there's slow traffic because then I can really take my time to figure out where the hell I'm going. I still have about an hour until I get there. <sighs> We're good. Oh my God, and I have to tell you about my tooth. Basically, I'm waiting for an appointment right now where I can get a dental implant, which is crazy because I don't have insurance right now, but it's something I need because so basically I have crowns on a lot of my front teeth. I feel like my crowns look very natural and they did a very nice job, but one of them fell out. Actually, the crown didn't fall out. My tooth cracked underneath it. Fell out Saturday night eating a bagel. Insert footage here. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it's been like this since Saturday night and it is now Monday morning. But now they kind of like barely glued my tooth back on but I can't chew on it. I'm afraid to breathe on it. I'm afraid my retainer is gonna take it out at night until I can get an appointment with this guy. And it's so quiet out here, but that's the heat. Yeah, I think that's the heat. I will give you a tour in a minute, but I have to pee, and apparently, this toilet is a bit different. So, let's figure this out. Oh, do you see this? I've never seen this in my life. You see, it's like peeing into an aluminum foil. 
It's the same one that Matt Damon used in The Martian. Technology these days, dude. Okay, everybody, welcome to Tiny House. Tiny glass house. We have the bed over here. Just windows all the way around. So many pillows. <laughs> this is the sleeping area. The view. I'm confident there are no bears, but I don't want to jinx it. A really nice sink here. Well stocked with paper towels and all the dishware you could ever need. And we have a hot plate, utensils, microwave, tea kettle. Oh, I, I forgot to bring my tea, but maybe they have some. Honestly, I'd be down to move in here. And then there's a cute little seating area, which I've already thrown my stuff all over. Full length mirror. <laughs> That toilet is something else, y'all, but whatever. Whatever is necessary. I know I'm in the middle of nowhere. That's a little heater, too. The tiniest sink. Look at that. She's so pretty. It's even a little bathroom fan. I have honestly, truly considered getting a tiny house and living that way. I feel like I'm primed for it because of the amount of time I've spent in New York in smaller spaces. This <laughs> reminds me of like how little I actually need. I mean, I could be happy here. try and figure out this fire. So this is the, well the firewood's like all wet. I feel like we could try and burn it, but I could be like that guy on TikTok. You seen like the axe guy that <laughs> um, but I could use him here to chop me down some wood that's not wet maybe there's fire starters over here is that what this is is this a fire starter like this it feels like i'm on alone you know that show on netflix alone i think i could definitely do that not in the survival way but in the fact that i could be alone for a long period of time hmm city girl tries to build a fire this honestly is probably a lost cause maybe if we take some of the firewood okay there's snow on that one I can try. It's going really well. Damn. If this little twig can't catch fire. There's no way the whole log is going to catch on fire. <laughs> Dang. I really wanted to make a fire too. That's so sad. Why are you so damp? In one trip, we're simultaneously getting Chelsea over the fear of driving and the fear of the dark. <laughs> I'm not scared. It's the same world, it's just darker. Leaves. You know that feeling when you wait so long for everything to be perfect before you can allow yourself to be happy? It's human nature in this society at least to strive for more and for the best. It just feels like the moment when you have the perfect partner who loves you perfectly, the perfect house, the perfect body, the perfect life plan. Then you are worthy of finally being happy. It's so dark out there. Am I scared? No, of course not. But like, once you get there, then what left is there? Do you even want what you have anymore? And what if it takes your whole life and you still don't get there? Then what? Was the pursuit all for nothing? Honestly, life is just so short and the younger generations are genuinely just trying to make some sort of lemonade out of zero lemons in this economy. So maybe it's best to ask instead, what is the part of this moment right now that makes me so incredibly happy and can that be enough? Do I really need everything else? The answer is no, we don't, but it sure would be nice.
A year ago, around this time, I lost my pet rabbit, Phoebe. It's part of the reason that I wanted to get out of town today. Loving her for even just that short amount of time was eye-opening because I hadn't realized that I actually had that much love to give. And she was just one of the heartbreaks I had last year, but I've since moved on and healed, you know, and come out of it learning that, wow, I have way more love to give than I thought. I'm not totally dead inside. But for the most part now, I like living in this neutral, content, feeling that is consistent. It doesn't give me emotional whiplash and I don't wake up with a sinking heart feeling. It's not that I'm afraid to put myself out there or anything. I'm doing that, believe me. But I just really love this aloneness. I love being my own best friend. I know my capacity to love is alive, so why not pour that into me for now? Trips like this make me excited that I'm stuck with me for the rest of my life. Some people will eat that. This place is great. I'm just gonna be chilling here. <laughs> I definitely think I wanna come back here in the summer to enjoy the fire pit and be able to walk around a little bit because it's dark, you know. Where am I gonna go? I feel so cozy just in my little... <laughs> Rubbing my little feet together. I heard someone say the phrase the other day on a reel or a TikTok or something. I'm just rubbing my little feet together like a cricket. <laughs> the only thing this place is missing is some candles and some warm light. We got the LEDs, but it feels like I'm in an office a little bit. Also, my dentist called me a couple hours ago and let me know that tomorrow, 7 p.m., I'm going to the dentist to get a tooth implant. I've been so scared this thing's gonna fall out again. Maybe I'll make some tea right now and sit and read a little bit. Dang, they only have green tea and black tea. I don't wanna be wired. We're gonna get creative. I, have, I found ground cinnamon. So what if we put that in the hot water? It's like anti-inflammatory, right? Or whatever. Maybe a little sugar too, like cinnamon sugar. in the last month in my videos they've been a, quite a bit calmer that still feels really weird to me to have calm calm ish videos you know and maybe I have become a little bit on the, more on the boring side you know my videos and I think about that a lot in general I feel like I'm finally unmasking which I don't know if you resonate with that at all I look insane right now but bear with me I'm gonna wash my face like a guy for two seconds I already got rejected from a part-time job too, which kind of sucks. I'm just grateful to have YouTube right now. And I'm grateful to know all of you guys too. Y'all are so fun in the comments, can I just say? <laughs> this bed, really comfy. Oh, by the way, they didn't ask me to promote this place at all. Like I found this on Airbnb and I paid for it with my own money. I'm just here because I want to be, that's all. <laughs> Just to clarify. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. And if you don't, that means I just didn't make it through the night. Mm. It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna knock out and it's gonna be fine. I should get up. I woke up around midnight and I had a second bowl of pasta. And my stomach was growling. I don't 
I ate a full dinner. Chill for a minute and then add some more hot water. Good morning. How did you sleep? I just want to sit and have a cup of coffee right now. It's like 9.30 and I'll um, check out is at 12, but because I have a big day today, I think I'm going to leave around 11, but it gives me time to just chill out a little bit, maybe walk around. The Airbnb people kindly requested that I not film anything that's not e immediately surrounding the house. I think it's for safety reasons, so I just totally get that. So I can't take you on a walk. Let me know, do you like day trips like this? Because I feel like I could easily do this more often. I mean, maybe not something as bougie as this, or maybe, I don't know, exploring parts of New York that are further north. I haven't seen any wildlife at all. Oh, I'm here. I'm seriously considering building a tiny house. Have any of you ever built a tiny house? Do you have a tiny house or, I don't know. Let me know. So slippery. Oh my god, uh, there's so much mud. Do, do, do. I can't believe it, that's where I slept. Right here. I don't know what I would have done if I got a random knock in the middle of the night. How cringe is it to be a vlogger? <laughs> packed up about to go I don't really want to drive <laughs> say goodbye oh my nails <sighs> time to go home my friends we made it home <laughs> I'm so glad I'm no longer driving <laughs> I did not enjoy that although the way back was really that it wasn't bad at all it was really nice to get out and I felt kind of newer energy when I when I came home so um, I'm really grateful that I was able to get away and I owe all that to you like I wouldn't be able to be doing any of this if you don't you know come on my channel and watch my videos every time they come out I'm really really grateful that my channel can support me right now and it's just like to have these experiences it's really healing for me and it's really awesome and yeah I have a lot of gratitude to you if you like this video and found it fun make sure to give it a thumbs up before you go 
and let me know if you like this kind of day trip style because we can i can definitely do something like this again at some point and if you haven't already do consider subscribing the engagement the subscribing it just tells the youtube algorithm hmm, people watch this let's push it out to other like-minded awesome people so that we can keep growing the community in our little corner of the internet so i will see you on my next video bye